In this video, you'll get a basic introduction to phase cancellation in audio. You'll learn what phase cancellation is and the effect it has on sound quality. But hey, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Kyle. I've created Audio University to help you learn the fundamental concepts and tools of audio and how to apply them. If that sounds interesting, subscribe below. So what is phase? Well, a sound wave is a series of high pressure and low pressure phases. This is a sound wave on a graph. When the line goes up, the pressure increases. When the line goes down, the pressure decreases. The intensity of the pressure is the amplitude. The number of high and low pressure phases per second is the frequency. Look at these two waves. They are the exact same frequency. They're also perfectly in phase, meaning that when one waveform goes up, so does the other. These two waves have the same amplitude and they are perfectly in phase, so when they are mixed together, the result will be a wave with twice the amplitude. They're pushing and pulling in the same direction. It's like one plus one equals two. This is called constructive phase interference. These two waveforms are perfectly out of phase. Although they are the same frequency, as one waveform goes up, the other goes down. One is pushing while the other is pulling, and so they cancel each other out. This is called destructive phase interference, and it's like one plus negative one equals zero. Listen to these examples. I've created a 500 hertz sine wave. I'll play it by itself. Notice that the level is minus 20 dB. Now I'll copy this sound wave and place it on another track. You see that these sound waves are perfectly in phase. So when I play it, the combined level of the two increases. Now I'm going to invert the polarity on the second track, which will make them completely out of phase. So when I play these two sounds together, although there is level on both tracks, the combined level is zero. Why does this matter? Here's an example. Let's pretend that this microphone is your ear. Both of these speakers are playing the same signal. The microphone is the same distance away from each speaker. What if the microphone was closer to the left speaker? Now the sound from the right speaker has to travel a longer distance than the sound from the left speaker. The two signals are out of phase. Listen to the effect this has on the sound. It's especially disturbing when you walk between the two speakers. The same thing can happen if you record one source with multiple microphones. In future videos, we'll take a look at some real-world examples of the negative effects of phase cancellation and how to avoid them. We'll also take a look at some of the uses of phase cancellation in the real world. If you got value out of this video, click the like button, consider subscribing to Audio University, and check out the website at audiouniversityonline.com. Thanks for watching.